You want an enterprise portal? Take your time to think before you act. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense. This video is part of a series of life ray tutorials. When you introduce an enterprise portal like LifeRay or SharePoint into an organization, then you definitely need to think before you act. In this video, I'll give an overview of the questions that need to be answered before starting any implementation. This video is not only applicable to LifeRay portal, but also to SharePoint or other portal solutions. Let's start with two motivating scenarios of why you would like to have an enterprise portal in the first place. The first one is about working together in projects. I guess that you know the problem as well as I do. You keep sending documents around by email until in the end you spend more time looking for the most recent version than actually working on the topic. If we look at the portal cube that was introduced by Treffert, we see this as scenario one. In this case, we have employees working with content on the intranet. The second scenario is about a marketing team that wants to improve the internet presence of the company. The goal here is to create content for customers that can be uploaded easily and even let customers comment on this content. In the portal cube, this is scenario two. In this scenario, we have customers working with content on the internet. This collection of planned usage scenarios is only the first step towards an introduction concept. Next, we need to figure out how many sites are needed. Will scenarios one and two run on the same site or on two different ones? Technically, both solutions are possible. The next question, which is not independent of the previous one, will be about organizational structures, roles and rights. Here again, portals like LifeRay offer a lot of functionality here. The challenge is to choose the right initial setup that will be stable over time. The next question is about metadata for documents. Of course, you would want to have the Dublin Core as a minimal metadata set. But depending on the domains your company works in, you will need to capture additional metadata. When you know which metadata are needed, you can set up structures and templates in LifeRay that enforce metadata input at document creation. Another question are workflows. Will you only have very simple workflows, like the single approver workflow before publishing documents? Or do you want to integrate more general workflows? The answer to this question will have an influence on the choice of the workflow management system. I hope this gives you an idea of what to put into a concept for the introduction of your portal. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. See you soon.